guys, it's Jen and today I'm super excited to share with you another tutorial. This is a very sophisticated neutral look using the chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. I swear to you, this is one of the most highly requested tutorials I've received. So I'm pretty excited to share this one with you. So if you wanna put some chocolate on your face, then keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. I'm going to start off by applying an eyeshadow primer all over my lids. This helps the eyeshadow to last a lot longer and the colors look way better. One of the easiest ways I've found to blend my eyeshadow is to use a medium matte contour shade. This is Salted Caramel from the Too Faced palette and I'm just concentrating this in the eye socket area. So if you take your brush, push it in gently, where the brush goes inward is the shape that you want to apply this shadow. We're making most of the color concentration in this outer corner and just blending it softly in as we go toward the center of the eye. I like to wing it out just slightly in the outer corners just to make a nice almond eye shape here. Next, I'm taking this golden shimmery color called Creme Brulee and I'm just applying this on the main part of the lid because we already put that blending shade down. It's easy to just kind of blend this softly up right until that contour area is hit. But you don't want to go much higher than that. Just keep it on this oval shape right here. To get more of a reflective quality, you can pat this color near the center part of the lid. And if you want something a little more subtle, you can just swipe back and forth. For smoking out the contour, there's tons of choices in this palette, but because I have a little bit of burgundy in my top, I'm going in with this matte dark burgundy shade called Cherry Cordial. Focus this in a miniature C shape at the outer corner of the eye and just take little steps with your brush inward. That way you're blending at the same time as adding a bit of color and it's not going to look too harsh. Also make sure to add this just to the center of that contour shade that we did earlier. That's going to help the color to just blend outward and not have a really harsh line. Now I'm going in with white chocolate and applying this just beneath the brow bone to add a pop of highlight. For the lower lash line, I like adding just a little bit of pencil eyeliner to give the shadow something to grip onto. So I'm taking this NARS pencil and I'm dotting this along the outer third of my lower lash line. Now taking that darkest cherry cordial shade on a little flat brush, I'm going to smudge this into that outer lash line and pulling it forward really gently. You guys know I love adding a bit of highlight, so I'm taking my tiny brush and I'm using Champagne Truffle just on the inner eye corners to add some brightness without actually adding too much sparkle or glitter. Next, I'm adding eyeliner with one of my favorite pen style liners. These are pretty easy to use and give a really clean line. I'm just going in the same line as my lower lash line and pulling up a little bit of a wing. I'm turning my brush. I'm going to connect this to the main line. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. I'm going for more of a big eyed effect, so I'm concentrating a lot of mascara on the inner lower lash line. I'm just trying to make a really fanned out look. And then, as usual, I'm topping them off with my favorite pair of false lashes. Now I'm just taking my Sigma brow pencil and I'm filling in any sparse areas. And on the outer corners, I'm pulling this out just a little bit to match the wing on the lash line. For the rest of the face, I think pink always looks really beautiful with browns and anything in the chocolate palette. So I'm going in with this Clinique blush. This is in Plum Pop. And I'm applying this toward the edge of where my eyebrow hits on my cheek and I'm blending this forward, just along my cheek line here. Doing this kind of shape will give you some extra brightness, but it'll also kind of add a little bit of a contour effect at the same time, so it doesn't look crazy harsh or detract from the eyes. I'm also adding a soft highlight to the top of the cheeks using the Too Faced Candlelight Powder. I actually just did a whole video recently talking about how to apply highlighter, so if you want a more in-depth look, then you can click right over here and watch my highlighter video. I'm just adding this to the top of my cheeks to complement the glowing brown tones of the eyes. Now I'm finishing the look off with a little bit of a purpley pink pop of gloss on the lips using my butter gloss in Sugar Cookie. You can really use whatever blush and lip color you want because the eyes are so neutral, they'll just match anything. Generally, I like to stay in the same color family for cheeks and lips. If you're doing a pink cheek, 
try to also do a pink lip or a peachy cheek with a peachy lip or like I did today, a plummy cheek with a plummy lip. So this is the final Too Faced chocolate bar look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I think it's super easy to just have it for every single day and it looks so sophisticated. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to see more videos. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to talk all about highlighters. I'm gonna do my huge recap of all of my top best amazing products from 2014.